Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel where we sip and spill the tea on all my favorite things. I apologize, there's no nails on. I know a lot of y'all actually enjoy when I have my nails done, but I'm giving my nails a rest. Um, today is going to be another affordable Amazon find video, but we're going to be looking at three different products today because I ordered a whole bunch and we need to get these reviewed so you guys can buy them while they're still at good prices. So the first thing we're going to look at is this slim tea tray and i like this one because it was longer than most of the other ones listed this one is 15 inches by five and a half and it is half an inch deep just to give you a comparison most of the ones that you're going to find on amazon are going to be about this size um so as you can see this one is quite a bit longer and it does have a more slim profile. I think this would be great at like a work desk or a small space. I really, really like it. And I like that there's enough room to put, sorry about that, my plug that is built into my Ikea desk. I, I don't know. It, it sometimes just trips and yeah, everything went out. So had to rearrange things. So anyway, that that's the measurements on this. So we'll be trying that out today. The next thing we're going to get into is I found this really awesome tea accessory kit. It has a little metal uh, carabiner clip, I think is how you say that. And it's got a really nice design. Let me move that out of the way. So when you open it up, you have a lot of different accessories going on. The first thing is you have a tea towel. This one is nice. It feels more like a washcloth than say one of these other tea towels that you get for free with tea sets. I don't like these because they never soak up water. It actually just repels water. So this one actually feels more absorbent just like almost like a terry cloth towel. It's got a nice little embroidered design there. So you get a tea towel, <clears throat> excuse me. Then you get a tea brush. This is mainly used in yeeshing clay teapots like, like this one. And they brush the hot water over it to help it stay heated. And then you get a tea pick, which you guys have seen me use one of these if you're over on my Instagram and how does this one open so you have to go check the listing here's what I thought it was I thought it was like a tea pick for using in tea cakes no they call it a tea pen and all it said was essential for use in teapot care so I don't know if it's just used to get leaves out or what but that's interesting never seen that before then you get these it says a manicure scissors but the listing says you can use this to cut leaves down if you need to and you guys know me I love everything antique and vintage and these had a really nice vintage feel and look to them if I can get my camera to focus I don't know what it there we go so just some little scissors there then and here you have a couple things happening <clears throat> look they're already coming in handy okay so in here you get some tea tongs which I do actually use tongs sometimes I don't actually use them as much to pick up leaves as I do um, sometimes like putting them in small teapots and stuff but this comes in handy these two I do not have this one is just more like a tea scraper. Again, if you need to get something out of a teapot. Um, this pick you can use. Um, I wouldn't necessarily use this one on a tea cake. I would get a metal one. But I think both of these are more tools for 
like getting things out of teapots and like the yixing ones have the little built-in strainer like getting tea leaves out of there and then this one is a bamboo chahe which is a tea presentation vessel this one is actually nice and thick can y'all see that it's not thin i really thought it was going to be really really thin like veneer thin and it's not it actually has a nice weight to it so you you get a number of different tools and i believe you guys this item came in at seven dollars and some change so you've got it's kind of like a satin here you've got two pockets the back one they kind of feel like they have a little elastic it's a really nice set so we're going to be using some of these accessories in our little session we're going to have today and this tea tray and the tea tray at the time i ordered was eleven dollars and 89 cents now i know it is not that right now but if you guys put things in your amazon cart just watch them because prices go up and down and this one stayed at fifteen dollars for a long time and then one day it just dipped down to 11.89 and so i purchased that so we'll scoot that over to the side i'm going to show you guys before we get to our third item we have our tea cake here this one is also off amazon it is a show me white tea cake um from year I believe this is a 2013 if I'm not mistaken I believe so what we're gonna do we're gonna get out our presentation vessel here and y'all have to forgive me I'm just a little rusty since I I've been having back problems and I'm just not really in the flow of videos as I should be Sorry, and I've got a fan going over here because I'm just burning up. Let me turn that off so y'all can probably hear better. Okay, so this did not come with the metal pick like I thought it did. So I am going to go ahead and use this one. I'll leave a link down below. I think Amazon has one just like this for $3 and some change. This is the cake. And again, follow me over on Instagram. I post almost daily. And I've shown this... Um, cake before now there's different theories on how to go at it i say you do what makes you happy um there's a lot of quote unquote rules on tea but really tea is all about your time so i use those as guidelines like some people go in from the being outward some people go from outside i pretty much just go however like i find a little loose pocket i go in like this and I just start lifting so wherever I can kind of get in without breaking up the leaves too terribly much because that's the goal you don't want to break them down into powder you want to try to keep them as intact as possible This cake is not super compressed, so it's pretty easy to, to break up and pull some bits and pieces out of. And I think that's going to be enough for what we need. So let's get this onto our vessel here. And I'll break this down. Normally this would be a lot more graceful and pretty, but when you're filming, a lot of times, if you're like me, we're looking through the lens, not actually at what's really happening. Now this, typically, this type of <clears throat> presentation vessel, to me is good for more straight leaves, more already loosened leaves. Tea cakes can be a little finicky because, you know, you're breaking them apart and everything like that. Because normally, most people know this as a presentation vessel. 
And so it keeps kind of everything on the inside um, with the side walls there. But with this one, it's a little more open. So I see this probably better for long pressed green tea or rolled oolongs. But we're going to make it work for the video because I really want some of this white tea. And the white that you're seeing is actually the fuzzy buds in there. This has a nice mixture of fuzzy tea buds in there. So once we get that set up, ooh, so I like this tea towel even more. It's long and more rectangle as opposed to the square ones you normally get. That's freaking cool. So I'm actually going, I really like that. I've been meaning to try to hand sew some uh, like custom little tea pads to keep down on my desk, but we'll put that right there. And I think what they mean with these scissors is, let's say you've got a small teapot and there's some bigger leaf and you want those to be able to fit. You could just, you know, cut those leaves down if that's what you need to do. So we'll put out some of our tea tools here just in case we need those. I won't be needing this brush because we're fixing to be reviewing a awesome new tea set. Let me show that to you guys real quick. So here is the tea set we're going to be reviewing today. And the outside kind of has this rubberized feel. It's a really neat texture. It does have a leather-like handle on there. I love the cases like this because they take up less room. They don't have that thick styrofoam layer, and it's custom molded to what's inside. It really holds it secure. So here is this tea set. I saw this one as I was perusing Amazon, as I often do, and this one was $12 and some change, and I was like, man, that's pretty cheap for a little Gong Fu tea set. So I picked this one up. So let's move the case out of the way. So with this particular set, let me move you guys down here, you get three cups and you can either use it as three cups or use this as your Gong Dao Bay, your fairness cup. And then from here, pour into these two cups. Then you get your Easy Guy Wan and it has these really cool wood accents on the side for easy holding. And it, here's what the lid looks like. We do have a basic built-in filter. And here's the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and wash up our tea set. And then we're going to be ready to try out all these accessories. All right, guys. So we're back. Let's go ahead and... I don't know if I'm actually going to use all of this tea in here. I'm going to eyeball it and see. This tea, I have yet to ever out drink it in a session. It reminds me a lot of the Adagio White Pearl tea. You can literally just drink and drink and drink and drink that tea. In this session, I might just go for it. I might just put it all in there. And if you guys watch my other video... Um, of the little tea stoves I have. I love when I can't finish this tea. What I do is I pour the last little bit into the little glass teapot and I boil it down and you get a super concentrated flavor that way. So I did actually put quite a bit. I need to, I have a larger scale. I need to order a smaller scale so I can start measuring, but I'm just eyeballing that. This is going to be pretty concentrated. So, as you can see, the little tea scooper came in handy there. Now, normally, I have a tea pet designated to every type of tea. So, this is my white rabbit. It helps me remember that that's what I use my for my white tea. But we got in this new Lucky Cat one, and Brian actually snagged it from me. I didn't even realize it was missing. So, I told him I was going to give it a tea bath, and then he can put it back on his desk with the other Lucky Cats he has. So I've got to christen her on in. So I've got my Wilson's gooseneck kettle. And yes, the kettle is still working wonderful. 
told you guys I would keep you guys updated. No issues with this kettle at all. My links are down below. From what I heard, they are no longer selling the AI Cook one, but I'm not sure. I need to recheck on that and see if that is the case on that. So, first we're going to do a quick little rinse. Ooh, this pours really nice. And if you guys have issues with arthritis or carpal tunnel or anything like that, Easy Guy Wands are great because you don't generally have to flip them upside down like you do most Guy Wands. So we're going to give our thirsty tea pets a little drink here. So far, this tea tray is so awesome for that. I like to give my leaves a good shake and then smell them. Oh, it smells so good. This one smells like warm baked bread with like honey on it. Roasted almonds. A hint of like roasty tobacco. Just a hint. Not like pu'er. It smells good. It just reminds me of like like a bakery where they make all the best breads so good so now we'll just go ahead and fill her up there now what I'm gonna do I'm actually going to use this because I didn't break up all the cake that well so as you can see, I've got some parts that are kind of dry. I'm actually going to use this to push those down and try to help the water permeate. Now, normally I would not do this, but I'm getting down to the inner parts of that tea cake. So as you get closer to the bing, which is the center of the tea cake, it's really tightly compressed because that's where the, um, they put the tea in a bag and then they twist it and they knot it and they flip it over. And that's what the middle where you get that little indention that's where the knot is when they press that tea cake and it is pretty condensed down in there now this tea i will tell you i love it so much because it's an easy white tea it does not easily oversteep it just gets better and better now it can be but it's not easily oversteeped it's very fuss free which i like now i don't know if this gong bay gong dao bay it's going to be big enough, yeah, <laughs> to hold um, to hold all the liquid in here. And yeah, it's not. But if you were doing small, if you were doing smaller cups and not as much liquid, it, it would probably work fine for that purpose. I really, really love this tea. That's what it looks like in there. And I love how with each infusion, it just changes. It just becomes a different tea. There's like a sweetness to it. It kind of reminds me of peaches almost. It, it, it got a little sweeter there. So this is the tea set. This is the tea. I will admit that those cups are hot. It almost has... Um, it does have a texture to it, and it is ceramic, but it almost feels like metal almost. I mean, that's pretty hot. So if you're going to use these cups, I definitely would not fill them up all the way, um, especially if you're working with something at a higher temperature. I brewed this at 185 degrees, but if you're doing something like a pu'er and you're doing it at 200 plus, I would leave a little room at the top for you to grip these cups. So, um, yeah. Oh, this tea, if I could describe it in, it, it just, I'm trying to gather the words here. It reminds me of autumn. It does. It reminds me of like Arkansas in the autumn, cold air dry leaves on the ground, walking around outside. It's just a certain smell. And just walking through the trees and the leaves, that's what this tea reminds me of. 
It is literally fall in a cup. And I love this one so, so much. I will leave the link down below. It is hands down my favorite tea cake right now. I just, I love it. All right, you guys. So that is a review of everything. So far, I'm loving the tea tray. It arrived with no damage, which is good. You know, that's happened before. I do like the tea set. I love the little wood accents. It's really easy to hold on to. Some of them with porcelain, um, if for some reason your teapot gets wet, can be a little hard to hold. This has a nice grip. The top is flat, so it's just you can grip it anywhere, no matter how big or tiny your hands are. You get all the appropriate cups. You get the carrying case, and I like the tea accessories as well. I think this is pretty cool. It kind of worked out great that it wasn't a tea pick since I already had one, and it came in handy with helping swirl those leaves around in the water. And it's just a nice value. So you guys, I'm going to leave the links down below for everything. So with the, we're, we're just going to round up here, do a rough estimate with the tea uh, tray coming in at 12, the tea set coming in at 12 and the tea accessories coming in at $7. You're looking at $31 for a complete nice starter set of Gong Fu items. I mean, really, almost everything you pretty much need to get started. And that's why I'm making these videos. Now, do you have to have these things? No, you don't. You can do grandpa brewing, which is in a glass. You don't have to have these things. But for those that are trying to get into it, and you're not really knowing where to start, it is overwhelming. You don't know who to order from. You want to get good stuff. You know, I know I was overwhelmed, and that's why I started this series, because I believe that you can get good items at a good value if you know where to look. And no, I don't only shop on Amazon, but Amazon is nice because if you have Prime, you get your items in two to three days. And, you know, when you're waiting on something and you're wanting to get started, I think that that's really important. And lately, I have been finding the best value on Amazon. So that's where I have been doing a lot of purchases personally, um, just because I do love AliExpress. You guys know that, but it does take forever. It, it just does. And I don't like to wait. So anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying the series. It seems like you really are. I have a ton more stuff to show you guys that I'm really excited about. So remember, like and subscribe. Um, if you want to be notified when I upload, just hit the notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video.